in a huge way right now. If you look out to Times Square, we got the boys at Blink-182, all their crazy fans. Blink is making one hell of a grand entrance in a convertible Cadillac out there. Blink boys, we haven't seen them in a while. It's always good to see them. Uh, fans have been lined up since early this morning, of course, just like yesterday. One of the biggest weeks here in TRL. History, I believe that's Travis driving the car. And you got Tom in the back. And Mark uh, riding shotgun right there. And there run. they are. And Vanessa's outside right now, too. What up, V? Thank y'all. You guys, MTV and Blink-182 bringing at y'all. Spank new music ring right here on the street. Just you guys, Dustin off the classics. I like it. Well, listen, I'm going to take you guys upstairs. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Just for the fans, you guys, bringing it to you. Spanking it music. Don't forget, we got Jay-Z's premiere coming up after this. Back to your crowds while I take these fellas upstairs to perform for you guys. Dale for me yesterday. Number 10, no doubt, with It's My Life. All right, fellas, let's go. In the meantime, what a show. Uh, time to welcome to our house band, I guess you could say, for the day. I'm talking about Blink 182. you guys. There's even a girl out there in a bathing suit, in a swimsuit. And uh, I think it's like mid-November. Always a faithful and dedicated way to show that you're part of the Blink uh, troop here. And it's been a while since we had you guys on TRL, so we got to get to it here. Uh, the album's hitting stores a week from today, actually. Yes. And it got some people who will go out and buy it. Uh, the interesting thing about the album is there's really like no funny title, you know? No what, title. No title. What's the meaning behind the no title here? Um, I don't know. I think that we had joke titles on the last few, and some right. people kind of expected it. And right. uh, a lot of the music on this is uh, different than what we would normally do. And I don't know. It's a different record, so we didn't want to like have a label on it. We just wanted it to stand for itself. A more mature sound? And, uh, you know, you buy this album, you get a little more than just a CD. You got the DVD included on this thing, which you guys worked on. Wow. Uh, some good stuff on that. You're also doing a dollar bill tour. Where you're going to give tickets out that just cost a dollar, which is really cool. Is this album all about giving back to your fans and appreciating it's, them? It's definitely a different thing. When we uh, when we made the record, we wanted it. The record's an hour long, and it's okay. kind of seamless, and there's weird segues and interludes, so it's kind of like this one whole thing. It's not about one song. It's about the whole record. So we wanted to make a like kind of an independent film that was imagery to go along with the music, but thank God that our label lowered prices for kids, so like yeah. the, the prices are lower than they were but uh, you know, it's cool. You, you lowered the price, and you're also doing like this golden ticket contest. What's well, the deal with this golden ticket contest well, here? Yeah, well, let me. It's like one kid gets like a one kid like out of a million CDs, right? I think one person has the opportunity to get like a golden seal ticket or whatever. Yeah. And then them and fifty of their friends, like we play a private show for them. Their own private blink show. Uh, yeah. They're getting on the roof up there. Do they get to pick the songs? Think, Do they get to pick the set There's a lot of bands that are like giving things away and doing these weird big contests, and um. We heard a long years ago. There's a band that was giving away, like you know, like a million dollars or something crazy. We're like, you know what? We want to give our music. We just like, want to play for you guys. We want to play. Yeah. <laughs> what you guys do best. And this is a. Uh... You guys actually let MTV in to film the show album launch for your album. We were and stoked on that. We got you were excited about that. You weren't apprehensive well, at we all. We got to document our whole the making of our record. You know, and it's, okay. we're taking a look at it right now. There's Travis warming up, doing a little uh, flipping of the sticks right there. Did you act professionally in front of the cameras, or did you goof around? It was cool. It was weird sometimes to have the camera there, but I'm so glad that we did because yeah. it kind of 
you can look back and see how songs came into being and see how the whole record came together. It's kind of a really cool experience. There definitely is a, a few things that probably didn't make the show. What, what's <laughs> that? <laughs> some X-rated moments? There some nudity, probably, maybe? I think there is a few things that uh, that didn't make the MTV cut because it might have uh, you know caused a, cute, a few moms to be kind of mad. But uh, It's okay. It's the Blink-182 we all know and love anyway, so don't yeah. worry about that. It was us. We'll take a quick break. More with Blink-182, including another live performance. This is so exciting. I can't believe it. Also, Kid Rock's standing by. He's coming out in a bit with a new video, and we're putting through the dreaded ringer. I like the shades. That's nice. Nice touch. You got moving muscle. More TLL spanking the music week is coming up. Hang out. Well, there it is right there, Times Square. Jumbo Sean's working. TRL Spanking the Music Week in full effect. Day number two. By the way, just hooked up the audience with copies of Spanking the Music Week magazine, the premiere issue of MTV Magazine. For more info on the magazine, hit up MTV.com. Also hooked them up with uh, Blink shirts. He brought some T-shirts by, a coupon for the album when it comes out, all part of us giving back to the fans this week. And we're here with Blink 182. And you got to be pretty excited about your fans. Uh, I don't know if you, if you knew about this. You guys are really busy. But during Spanking New Music Week, we take all the people who are performing and all the artists who are coming by with new albums that are out in a couple weeks and people haven't heard yet. We actually put them up on MTV.com. It's called The Leak. And we kind of leaked and streamed all of these really cool albums. Like I was listening to yours this morning. I was listening to Jay-Z's this morning. And uh, this is the tally. We, did, we started this thing at 5.30 yesterday. Over 200,000 times since 5.30 yesterday, your album has been streamed, which is... <laughs> Pretty amazing. You want to say something to the people who downloaded your stuff? That's amazing. Yeah. Hey, well, we, we never thought, in a, when we started this band, we never thought in a million years 200,000 people would ever even see us. So that's yeah. like, we already won, you know? It's so like we won. And just as a point, it isn't downloading, it is streaming, just to make sure. It's not right to download, kids. All right, you guys going to head upstairs to perform again, right? We're going to do a classic Blink song? Yeah. Let me see what that is in just a second, too. Kid Rock is going to be out after this. We'll put him through the ringer, everybody. Back to the request. Are we a Clay Aiken fan at all? Who's that? Uh, number three, Clay Aiken Invisible on TLL.